I don't fucking care at all. Oh, 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 oh. What up, everybody? It's your boy John, and we're back at it again with another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be watching or actually listening to some really disturbing 911 calls and. Just a warning, I might tear up in this video because I get scared and creeped out easily by shit like this. So, without further ado, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like this video, and let's get into the disturbing 911 calls. Uh, I don't know if I can handle it. We'll see how far I can go with it. And yeah, let's jump into the video. And just to set the mood to make it even more creepy, for me it's 4.32 a.m. It's pretty late. Put these bad boys in. Let's see what they got to say. Number 15, child finds parents. This five-year-old child calls 911 after walking into a gruesome murder scene in their parents' bedroom. The child describes the scene with detail that no child should ever see. The operator asks the child what caused him to wake up that night and the answer is chilling. The operator handles the situation very well in keeping the child calm and is careful not to scare them. She distracts Ooh, them with oh talk man. about dogs in school. You can almost forget that the child has just walked in on two bloody parents. Oh, where's your uh, hello. Hello. Is everything okay? What's the dog's name? And what made you wake up tonight? So it was, I think I'm not even going to the hospital. Oh, what are gone? Yeah, I see a boy in the door. I think it's a boy. Really? Who has a gun in the house? I don't see a gun, but... I'll be scared, too. Oh, sweetheart, I will not let anything happen to you. I promise I will. You're only five years old. So Send fucking help, lady. Shit. Damn, he's already experiencing this shit. He's not even in kindergarten yet. That's insane. Number fourteen. Alright, so the first one wasn't too bad. In early but January this one 2008, the bodies of two teenage sisters, Amina and Sarah Saeed, were found in a taxi parked near a hotel in Irving, Texas. The bodies were found almost immediately. These bodies were almost immediately connected to a 911 call placed a few days prior. The prime suspect of this murder is the girl's father, Yasser Abedel Saeed. Father? Many believe that this was an honor killing a practice common in other parts of the world. These killings are commonly committed against females that have supposedly disgraced the family in some way, either by having a relationship before marriage, ditching an arranged marriage, disobeying rules, and even being victims of rape. In the call, you can hear Sarah Why saying shit that she's go dying down Texas before the call is very abruptly Texas, ended. She's dying. She just said that. 
Oh my god. To this day, the father is still on the run. Still Number on the 13, run. Killer Grandma. In July of 2012, a fucking grandma, a really? teen by the name of Jonathan Hoffman called 911 and told the operator that his grandmother had shot him. Over the course of the full 911 call, three additional shots can be heard in the background. Hoffman groaned in agony as he bled out and begged the operator to send help as fast as possible. At one point, he even cries out, I'm dying. Oh man. Every one of these is just got shot, all these phone calls. I just want to pause the video real quick. I, I used to think, like, when you call the police that they have your location set. Like, because they used to say they could track you, like, don't, like, I remember younger, they say don't print, call the cops or whatever, because they could track you and find you. So why the fuck these police can't find where these murders or where these people are getting hurt or they're calling from, like, their location where they're calling from? Why can't the cops just track them and just go and stop talking on the phone? Like, you could talk on the phone and send help at the same time. It's fucking ridiculous, bro. You think at this time of day, like these days, 2017, you think people like will be more advanced with the police and shit. It's crazy. My grandma. Right. I'm gonna die. No. Knowing you're gonna die is the worst shit ever. I experienced that shit before. I'm gonna get help on the way. I'm gonna get help on the way, okay? Where are you shot at? Where are you shot? Right on the Your chest? Okay, who? Are you bringing that still there? No. Where did they go? I don't know. He's fucking dying. Send help. They shot you, though, right? Okay. Help him, fucking hell, shit. Send help already. He's about to die on the phone. Help always gets there late after they're fucking dead. Okay, did you get some kind of, can you, can you walk or do you, are you sitting? I'm sitting. Okay, okay, I don't want you to move. Oh, that's what he keeps saying. Dead lady, it's not answering you. Probably the person that shot him is what you heard. Fucking send help. He's fucking dying, lady. Oh my god, I get emotional for shit like this. I can't help it. Sandra Lane pleaded not guilty in court, 
She claimed that she was acting out in self-defense because she found out Hoffman was under the influence of synthetic marijuana and had read about the way people behaved while on it. That's police reports claim that Lane walked out of the house with her hands up as soon as the police arrived and said, I murdered my grandson. The video is pretty long, so I might have to do another part. If you guys like this video, please smash that like button. Let's get 20 likes. Um, subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And just say something. I'll reply. I always reply to my comments. And yeah, as always, peace out.